I'm going to show you how to generate hooks that generated me over 74,000 impressions in the last 30 days and helped me scale to over 58,000 followers on LinkedIn. So this is a simple hook generator where you type in a message right over here. Generate me hooks on how to automate businesses with N8N, right? So I'm going to send that and that's going to go into here into my hook agent that uses Gemini 2.5, which does a fairly decent job. And I've given it simple memory. Now, in this instance, you don't need memory, but if you want to go over and over and, you know, refine your prompts, it's uh, not much different from using something like Claude or even something like Gemini and ChatGPT. So that's a simple interface. The power comes in when combining level one tasks with level two workflows, such as in this case. So we are going to cover this in just a bit. But for now, having this memory will allow you to, you know, reiterate on certain things. If you do want to reiterate and refine your prompts over and over. So the prompt that I'm using is a very refined system prompt for hook generation by this guy called Jesse Van Bruegel. You should definitely check him out on LinkedIn. He's pretty amazing. So he has this thing called the LinkedIn Content Playbook, which has everything that you need to know about crafting a winning hook as well as a winning LinkedIn post. So you should definitely check it out. Now, the only thing for this thing is that I'm unable to copy and paste this because he has blocked the ability to do that. It would really be nice if he had some sort of AI prompts that you can just copy and paste. But what I did is I went to Menace and gave it that link and told it to extract everything word for word as it is, you know, for me to simply copy and paste whatever I need from here into my hook generator right over here. But obviously I adapted it with AI to incorporate my story brand in the SP7 framework, as well as my one page marketing plan, which also has my mission statement, my vision statement, and a whole lot of other corporate identity stuff you definitely need to do. Once you have that, I told it to generate me around say 10 to 25 and maybe 35 hooks, uh, depending on different styles, like the how-to styles, the number style, the listicle style, uh, contrarian styles. So if you look at the hooks that I have currently, so this is based on Jesse's proven hook framework. The first thing that you need to know about hooks is that you should keep them to eight to 10 words, because if it's any longer, you know, people might have uh, uh, reader fatigue. They'll just look at it and then uh, this is too long. I'm scrolling past or essentially they'll go and look at those exciting AI generated videos, which captures millions of views. <laughs> I should actually be doing something like that. But anyways, I'm focusing purely on this, even though I don't get that much views or it, if it doesn't go viral, it's perfectly fine because I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to educate and show you how to grow your business and automate it. Viral videos, I feel are be great for exposure, but essentially how well do they convert to actual revenue? That's the question you should be asking yourself. So continuing on to the hook anatomy. So every hook needs a scroll stopper. It grabs the attention with the pain, problem and curiosity. And number two, the curiosity opener makes them want to learn more. So these are six proven hook categories that you'll see all across LinkedIn. So how to achieve a specific result or like how to win a thousand clients in 30 days or how to solve LinkedIn automation. There's also, uh, there's also other ones like uh, mistake based hooks, like the number one mistake you're not winning on LinkedIn or winning with business automation. There's the contrarian hooks, which are my personal favorite and it tells you mostly based on unpopular opinion. So this is the number one reason why you're not winning on Facebook or LinkedIn. Then there's AI automation examples like unpopular opinions. Most AI automations fail because of this blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, if you want this full system prompt, comment AI automation in the comments down below and I'll send you the full system prompt along with this entire workflow as well as other workflows that I've created that you can check over here. This is a level three system that I've created, which takes your article from my voice or videos has four different agents writing articles for me, which gets reviewed by a, a uh, editor agent, which gets reviewed by an editor agent that goes into a simple LinkedIn post generator, generates hooks as the human in loop, which we'll cover in just a bit, and then uploads straight to Medium. 
If you want this entire workflow, you can definitely check out our corporate automation library that has this and much, much more automations. And I'll be uploading two to three new automations every single week. So definitely check that out. Back to our hook generator, we go on to this part where we call it the human in the loop. So over here, once you set up your telegram uh, bot using the bot father, now I'm not going to go into so I'm not going to go into how to set this up from scratch because there's a nice little video over here that you can check out that explains everything. Um, it's not my video, but it's someone else's video, but they explained it really, really well. The same for WhatsApp, and this, the workflows are pretty much the same. So I'll just cover both of them right now. So you can set up an automation to say, okay, write me an article on NITN and its use cases for automation. And then that will get sent to your hook generator and uh, we have simple memory so you can go back and forward and you know keep on typing and that goes into this human in the loop which waits forever until you are able to send a message back so when this node is triggered what will happen is that uh, it will send you a list of maybe 10 to 35 uh, possible hook combinations and you can just say i want number one because it has shared memory It'll go to this hook agent over here with the same Gemini model. It'll know that number five was the contrarian hook. And let's take that and pass it through. And you can use it for whatever you need to thereafter. The same thing happens for WhatsApp. And it all depends on you what platform you want to use. You can even take this connected to webhooks and have a nice user dashboard uh, that you can create using lovable or bolt.dev. And yeah, we can automate this to the max. If you want to learn how I created this news summarizer where we have six different sources from like The Verge RSS, VentureBeat, Artificial Intelligence News, Perplexity, SEP, and Tavoli, you can check out this link to the video right up here.